Hey, what's good? It's your girl T Chanel, and welcome to my channel, boo. Mwah. <laughs> We're coming in our cute little pilgrim top today. Look at, look at the pilgrimage. Look at the pilgrimage with the sleeve. Pilgrimage. <laughs> but yes, I am here for my first Middle Eastern slash Arabic fragrance haul. Okay. Yes. I am so excited. These fragrances, okay, from abroad, have been so popular on TikTok, on YouTube, everywhere you're seeing, you're seeing Middle Eastern fragrances. They're like so inexpensive compared to these niche fragrances. They got some dupes, okay? They have some originals. They, um, you know, are really, really giving these companies a run for their money. So, you know your girl had to go ahead, bite the bullet, break the chains, okay? And let's see what's really, really good. So, if you're interested in seeing my first Middle Eastern fragrance haul, okay? We're going to talk about the notes. We're going to talk about what it's giving, what it's not giving. And really see, are we getting gasoline when we first spray it? Oh, God, a bunch of different stuff, all right? So, if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, before we begin, you know what I'm gonna ask you, right? Are you subscribed? Have you been checking out my videos and you ain't subscribed yet? I know you tired of me asking you this question. Take it on my nerves. Okay, so if you are subscribed, thank you so much. You are a real rider. If you're not subscribed, it's about that time. Ride with your girl. Vibe with your girl. Subscribe to your girl. Did I tell you I'm so super excited for this video? Oh my God! <laughs> Yo. Researching and going through like all these fragrances, it's just like, it's an exciting thing to get new fragrances. All these are blind buys. Have not put my nose in them, but I have listened to people talk about them and you know, I hopefully have made the best decisions possible. Somebody says spray 25 times outside and then come back in and spray. I'm not gonna do all that. I'm gonna spray it in the trash first a few times, try to clear out the atomizer, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. We gonna look at our notes for everything. All right, so the first one that we have, and this is supposed to be a hit up. Look, it's called Frenetic Delicious. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I mispronounce anything in this video, please don't hold it against me, okay? This is from Amir. I don't know if you can see it. Frenetic Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> so, yes, we're gonna open this. So, here is the bottle for Frenetic Delicious. Very cute. The juice looks very nice. All right, and let's get the notes. I wrote them down here so we can go over it. All right, the top notes on this fragrance, lavender, mint, and bergamot. Mid, sour cherry, mm, that's interesting. Jasmine and freesia, and the base, tonka bean, vanilla, cacao pod, giving a little bit of chocolate, caramel, praline, oh my goodness, benzoin, milk, sandalwood, leather, and cedar? Wow, like this one right here is gonna be a hitter. So, well, it's supposed to be a hitter, but let's see. So we gonna spray it, cause I'm not trying to smell no gasoline, y'all. Like, if it don't smell right, I'm gonna let you all know. I'm gonna let you know, okay? So we're gonna spray it in this trash really quick. Yes, let's go ahead and spray it on a fragrance strip and smell it. Hold on. It has a nice atomizer on it, I have to say that. This is a, ooh. Mm. This thing kind of burning my, my nostrils. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Burning my nostrils a little bit up in here. Mm. But this is a, it's a nice fragrance. It's not bad. I am getting a lot of vanilla. Ooh, the top is magnetic. Look at that. Look, see how it like sticks on? That's nice. 
I'm getting a lot of vanilla. I am smelling some benzoin. I don't know. I was expecting something a little bit different, how people were talking about this. Like, I was expecting, not necessarily for it to be sweet, but a little bit sweeter. Maybe that will come with the dry down. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely smelling like sandalwood, some creaminess with this. It's a nice scent, but let's actually spray it on my skin and see by the end of the video how it does. I've been loving Talia, so I wore that today. And, but I think it's dried down for the most part. So let's put it on like back here while we're going through the video. Yeah, this is like a very, it's a heavy vanilla, vanilla benzoin scent. That's what I'm getting from this, so. Yeah, it'll probably mix really well with different fragrances as well, which is nice. But, you know, now that it's springtime, am I going to be wearing this? I don't know. I may wear it, but it's going to be like a mixer. It's kind of reminding me a little bit of Vanilla 28, to be honest with you. Just a little bit. <laughs> so I'm getting lavender. I'm getting tonka bean. I'm getting the vanilla, the cacao. Yes, it's coming across. I'm not getting a lot of praline. Benzoin, yes, it's standing out in here. And sandalwood. I guess you could say a little bit of cedar and then the leather. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from the notes. All right, so let's move on. Okay, next up is from Maison Alhambra. Is it Alhambra? I hope I'm saying that right. Maison Alhambra. It is Baruch Satin Oud. Yes, mimicking after none other than Baccarat <laughs> instead of Baruch Baccarat. Um, Oud Satin Mood, yes. So, I tried to look up the notes for this. It was inconsistent. I saw notes on one side and note on, notes on the other. So I said, I'm not gonna have it for this particular one, okay? But let's smell it and just see what it's giving. This one is very popular. Like a lot of people have talked about this scent. How do you open this? Oh, okay. It's not from the top, look. <laughs> you slide it out. Here it is, Baruch Satin Oud. Yes. Hmm. Okay, it's a cute bottle, it's okay, it's okay. Ooh, okay. All right, Baruch. Baruch is smell, ooh. Oh my goodness, Baruch, this is what you give it? <laughs> wow, wow, this is a beautiful scent. This is a beautiful scent, definitely unisex. I don't see this, I do not see this leaning feminine or necessarily masculine, it's unisex. I believe both a man and a woman can wear this. This will smell really nice on a man. It's sexy, it's smooth. It has some underlying sweetness, but it's not like, you know, in your face. Yes, the oud is there, but it's balanced well. This is a nice scent. This is a nice scent. I wanna see how this is gonna be on my skin. There's the frenetic delicious. Let's put it here on the top of my hand turn the atomizer but yeah I'm um, actually pleased with this like from first sniff this smells good it does smell good so nice atomizer okay all right Mason on a hombre I see you this is a nice scent okay let's let it dry down let's wait a little bit and move on to the next fragrance but yes this one is leading I think at the end Let's do a little ranking of, we'll rank all these fragrances that I've hauled, okay? Yes, sounds like a plan. <laughs> okay, next up, a really, really popular one. Kair Paris Corner. Yes, your girl picked up Kair. I do not own uh, Kayali's Pistachio, what is it called? Pistachio Yum, Yum Yum. <laughs> Yum 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 sauce. I don't know. <laughs> but yes, I do not own that fragrance. 
However, I have smelled it and I do think that it's good. However, it didn't like necessarily wow me, right, to purchase it when it first released. But yes, I've been hearing a lot of great things about Kair. Let's see, it's just in this box here. Wow, okay. Wow, look at the bottle. The bottle is very cute. Do you see this bottle? This is a cute bottle. Kair, look at the top. All right, okay, Paris Corner. All right, coming with the pistachio, yes. I am looking forward to smelling this. Isn't it so exciting opening a new fragrance? Okay, like this video if you love opening new fragrances and tell me about a fragrance that you were excited to open. Like, I, I'm very excited to smell this. Like, not open, but smell. Tell me about a fragrance you were excited to smell that you blind bought. All right, I'm interested. Oh, this is a nice atomizer. Mm. Oh, this is a nice atomizer. Wait, it went up my nose. Oh. Oh. Mm. Hold, please. Hold, please. Mm. Now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You got to wait with these. You got to spray it and you got to wait. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this one. Like, this one, this one might have to sit. I don't know, it's coming across strong. It's not coming across as smooth as um, pistachio yum, at least from what I remember. Mm. Maybe it needs to macerate a little bit, but like it literally just went through, like burned my nose, so. Mm. Nope. This is, this is not what I was expecting. This is, I feel like a little bit more sweeter than the pistachio yum yum. The blend, I'm smelling something synthetic in here. Mm, nope, this is definitely not what I expected. So I'm not gonna spray this on because, nope, nope. Like it's okay, but it's not all that. No, I wanna let it sit. Let's let it sit for a couple of weeks and then we're gonna have to come back to Kair because right now, Kair, it's not doing it for me. And I don't understand that because everybody raves about Kair, how it's so good, all of that, but the way that it smells, like, this? This is what y'all talking about? Like, nah, nah. But I'm gonna give it a chance, okay? Let's not judge a fragrance by its first scent, okay? Let's let it sit, let's let it macerate. I sprayed it in the garbage about 10 to 12 times. I sprayed it on the fragrance strip, so now that it's gotten some oxygen in there, maybe it needs to sit a little bit to really show its true colors. So we're gonna wait and see on Kair, and I will follow up. I forgot to mention, Kair has a bunch of notes, okay? Like a boatload of notes. I will post the notes. <laughs> But yes, it's like too much to read off, honestly. Like it is a long, long list. <laughs> All right, next on the list, this is supposed to be a very nice coconut floral scent. It is from Latafa and it's un an unlimited, it says here, Cayed Al Fursan. Cayed Al Fursan. Yes, I'm sure you've seen this box. When I take out the bottle, You'll probably recognize it, but yes, I'm excited to smell this one, especially for spring and summer. Like, it should be hidden for the season, right? So, let's see. All right, here is the infamous bottle, okay? Kayed Al Fursan. Interesting. Nice cap, and look, okay, look, these fragrances are giving magnetic giving heavier bottles nice designs like even though it's cheaper it's not giving cheap like you know from the bottle standpoint it's not giving cheap which is nice i have to move away because i'm not trying to have my nose burn no more mm. Ooh, uh -uh. hold on y'all hold on hold on This is very strong, Jesus Christ. Oh, hold on. 
I am smelling coconut though, but it's like this thing right here smell like it's gonna blow somebody out the water. <sighs> I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. I am smelling coconut, but there's something else in here that I I'm, I don't think that I like. Let's spray it again. I think this one has to sit. I think this one has to sit. I'm learning my lesson here with these fragrances. Like, when I haul them, like, I'm not just gonna keep them in, in the box. Like, you have to immediately take them out the box and spray them. And I've heard people say that. I've seen people who have done that before they've done their videos. I see people just open it like me and just like go for it. But yeah, I don't know. I smell coconut, but I don't know this one I feel like it has to sit like it's like like the Kair like it's not I don't know it's something's not right so I, I sprayed it I'm gonna let it sit now and let's see how it goes I will follow up for this one as well okay the next one I hauled y'all is Mace from Maison Fragrance World it is a Baccarat sorry Baracat not Baccarat Baracat Gentle Gold, yes. This is a dupe for Gentle Fluidity Gold. Oh, these fragrances are strong. Like, just beware of that, that they are stronger fragrances. So, yeah. They don't be playing, okay, with this Arabic Middle Eastern fragrances. They really do not play. All right, we are opening the box here. Oh, this is a cute bottle. Look at this. It looks just like <laughs> the original. Like, they literally bit off everything. Look on the top. It has the Fragrance World here. See, Baccarat. Or, sorry, Baracat. <laughs> Baracat. I mean, they completely, they just, uh, they bit off <laughs> of um, MFK for real, for real. Okay, I think I have the notes for this. Let's talk about the notes first. All right, the notes on Barricade Gentle Gold. The top notes, nutmeg, juniper berries, mid notes, coriander seeds, and the base, amber, vanilla, woody notes, and musk. Gentle Fluidity Gold, when I tried it, I was comparing it against the x -Trait for Baccarat Rouge 540, and I chose the x -Trait over it, and the reason why is it was very strong cinnamon, uh, that I smelled in the fragrance and it just didn't sit well with me. I like the X shade of Baccarat Rouge uh, 540 better. I like that almond, um, you know, note that it had in there. So that's why I didn't go with Gentle Fluidity Gold. But it's still a nice scent. It was full of vanilla and um, it was nice. It was nice. So yes, let's see if this is giving the same vibes or not. Oops, I'm spraying it on me. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, let me tell you, Fragrance World, Maison Alhambra, their fragrances are hidden, okay? Because the Baruch Satin Oud was smelling good from the beginning. Now this one is smelling good from the beginning. Oh my God. Wow, this is reminding me of Gentle Fluidity Gold. Oh my God, you definitely smell the vanilla in here. I'm getting a little bit of juniper berries, but not much. Oh, I have to spray this one on. Let's spray this one on. All right, we're gonna put this right over here in my other hand. So on the left hand over here, we have Satin Oud. And now on my right hand, we have the Gentle Gold. Wow. Wow. I'm impressed. I am impressed. This smells really, really good. It's perfumey. It's vanilla. There's a little bit of moss. You definitely get the amber in here. 
Wow, wow. All right, Fragrance World. Okay, okay. Fragrance World is doing their thing. I can't lie. Like, now I'm gonna have to look at more of their fragrances because two, both of their fragrances here smell good. Next up, yes, I fell for it. And I don't have any of these oils, but I said, look, at this point, I'm already on a run getting all these other um, <laughs> Middle Eastern fragrances. So just go for it, okay? I got Le Ali Rouge from Swiss Arabian. Yes, I did. So let's open it and see what this oil is giving. To blow my mind. Do you know that song by what's her name? Meta, Meta, Meta. That song is the bomb.com. I love that song. Have you heard it? Oh my gosh. It is so good. I think you should try. <laughs> I'm kind of smelling something already through this box. So I hope it didn't spill. A couple people said, <clears throat> oh. <coughs> hold on. What is smelling like this? <laughs> this box, something just went. Is that this oil that's strong? What is that strong, y'all? This got me scared. <laughs> Let me look up the notes. It's a cute bottle though. Let's talk about the bottle. <clears throat> I need some water, hold on. First, let's talk about the bottle. Cute perfume oil bottle. It looks, in person, like it looks exactly how you see it, people have it, how you see it, you know, um, in pictures. It does look like that. Yes, it's cute. Let me read you the notes on Swiss Arabian Le Ali Rouge. Concentrated perfume oil. The top, hibiscus, sandalwood, coconut, the mid, peach and rose, which I'm really excited about the peach and rose in here. And then the base, floral notes, mango, ooh, pineapple, papaya, and lemon. Y'all, if this smells like what it just said, like the notes, like this one right here is a keeper. It definitely is. So let's see. I want to smell it first. Hold on. Okay. Hmm, it's kind of giving me like lipstick vibes. Hold on. I'd be scared to put this stuff on. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a little bit, you know, nerve wracking a little bit. Hearing about gasoline and all that stuff. I ain't trying to break out. Oh, this is a nice oil. This is a fruity oil. It's likable. Okay, I feel like a teenager could wear this. I feel like really any age can wear this. I don't know. It is leaning like a little bit like... Yeah, like I don't want to say little girl, like a little girl, but it's like it's not giving a mature vibe to me. That's what it is. It's not giving a mature vibe, but it still is nice. It's like, okay, you know, Sweet Pea from Bath and Body Works, right? Like, that is a likable scent. It's really, really nice. However, when you smell that scent, at least for me, I feel like, you know, someone who's younger, a teenager could wear that scent and it's fine. That's how I feel about this oil. Doesn't mean that I can't wear the oil. Doesn't mean that I can't wear Sweet Pea. Absolutely, I can wear Sweet Pea. I have it. I love wearing it. But it's like catered for a younger crowd. So that's what I'm getting from this. But it's very, very fruity. It is giving peach. Uh, am I getting a lot of mango? No. Pineapple? Yes. So yeah. I'm going to layer this. I'm gonna see, you know, how this works out, how it sits on my skin. I'm gonna try it out first because my skin is very sensitive, so I have to be careful with these kind of things to make sure, like, I'm good. So we'll see how this little patch does on my arm. But yes, I'm gonna layer and we shall see how it goes. All right, last, definitely not least, I had to pick this up after seeing reviews and shout out to um is it arahi yes arahi 
here on YouTube, I will definitely put her channel like in my description. Like, you see what this is, right? Shagaf Oud Tonka. Yes, I picked it up because of Arahi. Like, the way that she described this fragrance, how she loved it so much. Like, look, I just wanted to smell it. Like, I couldn't help it. Like, I had to buy it. Her channel in itself is addicting. Like, she's so relaxing, such a nice person. Like, you could tell when people are genuine. And for me, like, I feel like she's really a genuine person who loves fragrance. She does her makeup really well. So I know that she loves makeup as well. And yes, I really do enjoy her channel. So shout out to Arahi. And yes, Arahi made me do it. <laughs> It's a beautiful, look at this beautiful color. Isn't this so beautiful? I love this. My downstairs is this color. Oh, look. Do you see how this is? I mean, it's just popping. Look at it pop, pop, pop. It's popping right now. Shug up, Utanka. I love this. The way Swiss Arabian did this presentation, very nice. Very, very nice. I love that. Wow, look at the bottle, y'all. Like, <sighs> presentation, 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 presentation. Got their emblem on the top. Look at the back, look at the front. Shagaf Utanka. All right, let's talk about the notes before we spray it. The notes on Shagaf Utanka. The top has almond. The mid cinnamon, okay, um, Tunisian orange blossom and Turkish rose. The base tonka bean, vanilla, and amber wood. All right, so this is comparable to BDK's Velvet Tonka, and let me tell you, I am not a fan of Velvet Tonka. I have the um, oh, this is hard. Jesus, this top is really stuck on there. I um. <laughs> I have samples of Velvet Tonka, and to be honest with you, like, no, like, it's not for me. It's not for me. So I'm interested to see, is this going to sit better with me, with my nose and everything? <clears throat> Excuse me. This thing, these things are strong. Like, the smell in here through the trash, everything is strong. So uh, we gonna get through it, though, y'all. We gonna get through it. Let's spray. Shagaf Oo Tonka. Mm, and I know this one is strong for what everybody says, so I gotta let it sit. Let's let it wait, let it wait, let it wait. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. Wow. Oh. First of all, this thing cleared me out. <laughs> it cleared me out. Second of all, this is beautiful. It has like this sweet smell to it. Wow. I really want to spray this on, but I feel like, oh my God, I don't want to sneeze anymore, but this is beautiful. All right, so let me spray Shagaf Utanka. Lord, you, you gotta be careful. This thing is strong. These things are strong, y'all. Ooh, that's enough. That's enough. Lord God Almighty, help us. Help, help me, help me please. Mmm, <laughs> no! that thing going in my mouth. Mm. These, uh, it's too strong. It's too strong, y'all, it's too strong. Oh, these things, Shagaf Oud is strong. Like, please beware, this thing is strong. Like, y'all wasn't playing. It's a nice fragrance, but I gotta, it's so much around right now. Like, one thing about these Middle Eastern fragrances, they are not playing, okay? They are not playing. They are strong. Like, I got so many smells in my throat right now, <laughs> making it a little itchy. Oh my goodness. But Shagaf Utanka smells good. Like, 
I could tell, like, especially now since after I sprayed it, if I let it sit a couple of days, this is a beautiful fragrance. Tonka bean, I'm getting. It has like this sweetness to it, a little bit of nuttiness, but not as much nuttiness as I thought. Wow, you get like a, a vanilla essence from it. It's a good scent. It's a good scent. I see why. Like, it's so popular. It is a good scent. And you can wear it during the spring. Like, <laughs> I was thinking it's going to be like, you know, a lot, a lot heavier like the BDK one is to me, but it's not. So, hmm. All right. So, let's rank all of these sprays that we have here. Let's rank these sprays. All right. Based on my first impressions with these fragrances, number seven for me is the um, KR Pistachio. Yes, beautiful bottle, I must say, with a beautiful color. But as far as the juice, that sauce, that sauce that's up in this bottle, <laughs> I don't know, it just didn't sit well with me. Like, you know, when for, from the first sniff, you saw my reaction, it just, something is not right. So either I need to let it macerate, which I'm going to do, let's see if that changes things. If not, like, this one is not for me. So this is number seven on the list. And then number six, I have to give it to Kayad Al Fursan. Like, this particular one, yes, I'm smelling coconut, but once again, there's something that's not balanced right to my nose. It's just... It's not right. So we sprayed it. Let's see if we let it sit and let's see if that'll change things for us. Then at number five is the Leali Rouge. I felt like this was good, but it was a little bit of like, you know, a young girl scent, like an immature scent. I was expecting something a little bit more from it. Uh, I am going to use it. Absolutely. I'm going to layer it. And then, you know, maybe as I start using it more and more, like it'll grow on me. But yes, I was expecting a little bit more from this oil, uh, especially how the way people are talking about it. Um, number seven, six, five. Four, yes, and number four is gonna be the Frenetic Delicious from Amir. I feel like this is good. Um, you know, if you watch my channel, you'll see like I like vanilla, but I'm not like oh my god, so in love with vanilla. Like, no, like I feel like vanilla should balance a fragrance, but if it's the star of the show, it has to be done really really well and there's only a few vanilla fragrances that I'm like so like head over heels for that I love so with this particular one like it's nice but I look at it more as a mixer like it has quite a few different um, notes in there um, so I feel like it will go well with like a vanilla scent a chocolate scent um, you know something that has maybe even like you know, some um, praline in there. This will go well with as a mixer. So yes, that's number four. And then number three from the first spray, I I like the set, the Baruch Satin Oud. This is nice from Maison Alhambra. It is nice. Now it's changing on my hand a little bit. It's gotten sweeter, okay? I don't, like I honestly like, don't smell much of any oud at all it's got a sweetness to it maybe a, a, just a tad a little a tiny tiny bit of nuttiness just a tiny bit i don't know the notes that are in here you know i have to try to find some concrete notes but it is good it is good it's smooth it's creamy and it's nice like i don't mind it and then number two Shagaf Oud, yes, Shagaf Oud Tonka, yes, it's living up to its name, it smells good, and I like it, I do like it, it has the almond in there, it's giving a little bit of cherry from that almond, you know, those two notes kind of intertwine a little bit, so, so yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing that, and then process of, of elimination, you probably know what number one is, but it's the Barricade gentle gold like this right here this is a beautiful scent 
It's a beautiful scent. It is really calling, okay? Gentle, flu gentle fluidity gold, and I like the bottle. I like the way that it looks, and I am impressed. Like, I'll be honest with you. I am impressed with this fragrance. Like, they really did a great job. So, yes, that is my first Middle Eastern fragrance haul. So I, you know, you saw my reactions here. Some of them worked out well. Some others, like, we're going to have to let sit. I hope that Kair pulls through. Also, the, the Kayed Alpherson. I know I'm saying it wrong. But especially that Kair, I was so looking forward to getting, like, a very nice pistachio scent within my collection. So let's let it sit for a couple of weeks, two to three weeks, and we're going to circle back, okay? I'm going to start spraying so the fragrances i'm gonna layer them even though we're in spring like i can honestly make all these work for the season so we're gonna make it do what it do i thank you so much for staying with me if you are not subscribed okay you stayed this long you might as well come ride with your girl vibe with your girl subscribe to your girl all right we got videos like this and much more make sure that you like this video give it a thumbs up and yes i appreciate you so much virtual hugs mm. don't forget okay you better never ever forget that you are beautiful you are one of a kind there's nobody else in this world like you and most importantly you are loved and if nobody else told you today don't worry, your girl T got you. I love you, okay? Mwah! Check out some of my other videos. I got some hauls on here now, okay? We be hauling. <laughs> Bye. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.